So tell me about this motorcycle. Why? Why this motorcycle? Tell me the story from starting with the the um, ECRP back in the TTX GP days. Yes, uh, there are many components of, about this decision. The first one was uh, the need to do our own product to show the technology that we were able to supply to customers. Because working for Formula One and Aerospace, we didn't show our technology and our capabilities. So we were looking for our own product and of course it was easier to start easier. <laughs> In our opinion it was easier to start with something completely new, brand new, so where we could have more room, more space uh, to develop, to uh, be pioneers and to really use our technology. Second was that it's the future and we started to look at electric vehicles in 2008 with my father and uh, we were thinking of uh, making a race car, it was too, too soon, it was too early and so we put that back and we said okay, it's too early. And then in 2009, Azar Hussein came to us and after TV, Le Mans, uh, Isle of Man, after the Isle of Man and he said, well that race was great, I want to do a championship, uh, do you want to make an electric race bike for us, for the championship? And I said, well, let's, let's try it. It's, Cool. So we started from the race bike and immediately after we decided to go to the road motorcycle because the races were great. Uh, we won immediately so the project was good but there was not enough uh, uh, room and visibility for us uh, over there. Uh, so we preferred to start immediately with the road motorcycle. Your CTO was on board with the ECRP bike, right? Yes, yes. Um, we were three at the beginning, and actually we were three until one year ago, more or less. So we are growing very quickly in the last months. But at the beginning, we were me, Gian, Gian Piero Castoni, and Simone Martinelli, that is the other guy that were, was helping us with the races and with the first uh, race bike. Uh, so they started from something that there was nothing actually. There was a white paper, and they started from there. And in six months, they've done this uh, ECRP race bike. It was great because it was immediately perfect. We tested in, uh, in Italy after four months uh, with uh, Roberto Locatelli, a former world champion in MotoGP. And uh, he said, bike is perfect, don't touch it. So we went to the races, we won the European Championship, we placed second in the Albacete, and so we decided that the project was uh, going well. One thing is to do races that we know very well, but it's easier because you have professional riders, professional mechanics, everything is under control. Completely new story, completely different thing is, uh, is an, uh, 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 something that goes to common people. Right, and a race bike only has to work once. That's right. right. And you can control everything, every yep. time. You yep. have everything really under control. Uh, when you go on the street and you go and you give something to anyone, you have to be sure or, or quite sure that you have that you have already think about everything that can happen. And and even if you have no solutions, at least you have no bad cases, no bad right. problems. So it's much much more complicated. And I, I'm not saying that it will be perfect, but it, it, we need more, much more time to be sure that we have done our job, that we have done right. our homework.